Hey folks, it's a crew review. It's actually a redo of a crew review of the Crossland CC1. Hi, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear and Bill, Bill Crossland, the uh, inventor and owner of the company and all around engineer and everything of this machine, made a change to this and I'll get right into that. It used to have a pipe coming down here which was your three-way solenoid valve drain and it used to kind of be cumbersome and in the way. So now he's located it right there. So your three-way solenoid drains down into your drip tray right there. Plastic drip tray, uh, stainless steel insert right here, the grate. The rest of the machine is total stainless steel brushed as you can see. This uh, comes off for cleaning so that you can clean up in here and this is the nice cup warmer section up here. What makes this machine really nice is it has a PID and programmability all built into it right here for the price you really get a lot of machines. So what's it got in the programmability? You can change the temperature of the boiler, you can program the pre-infusion, wait time, and brew time of three different one cup two cup and then it says pod that's just uh, the, I, you know I asked Bill about that one day and he had an explanation and I can't remember what it was but something about translation for the people that were making this so that's just another programmable button it's not for pods per se and then steam and this machine sports a 17 ounce stainless steel boiler with an insulation wrap around it. And then it also has a thermo block for the steam. So that's kind of nice. That's actually a good thing because you don't have as much wait time in between steaming and brewing because your brew boiler is not doing the steaming. It's not coming up to that high temperature. So what else have we got going on here? Uh, on off button is right over here. Your steam button's right here. This is a traditional one hole, yes, yeah, single hole steam arm. It's gonna get hot, it's not insulated. Um, you got your water tank right over here, which is 68 ounces of water. That's a pretty large water tank given the size of the machine. It isn't a huge mach machine, it's a single boiler, so it's not you know this big mambo thing on your countertop. Uh, you can get into the programming right over in here. And we won't get into that, but all those parameters I talked about earlier, you can get into and, and uh, change those. When this is blinking, that means it's coming up to temperature. And I believe it gives you an audible alarm when it's ready, a little beep. It, so we'll wait for that to get up to temperature and we're gonna brew a cup. I'm gonna make myself a latte. How about? Eh. Cappuccino, small cup. Let's do that. Actually, I'm going to ask this to come up to steam, and I'm going to do my steam first. When that's ready as well, you'll see an, um, an icon over here that will say steam ready. So... Get this all going. It does take a little bit to get that thermal block up to temperature. I had, I did notice that. It's not going to be instantaneous. Okay, it's ready. What was that about? Yeah, maybe 30 seconds or so. You cannot brew and steam at the same time with this, so that's that's not something you're going to be doing. Come on, get over there. There we go. Whoop, that's not what I wanted. I want to do this. I just want to, in case there's any condensation, I want to get that out of there. Let's look at that steam. It's a little bit wet, I would say, compared to some. Now, this is a thermal block, as you can hear that thumping. What that means is it's going to be a little bit slower in on the steam side. You're not going to have as much steaming force, let's call it, because you're not storing any steam in the top of a boiler. You're making it on the fly, so it's always a little bit slower when you have a thermoblock. 
But for some people, that's actually a plus. Some people uh, can't get, when you're kind of new to the game, it's hard to get good foam when it happens in about 15 seconds. This gives you more time to work the milk. So it's a, it's a pro and a con, right? That's done. Wipe that off, give a little squirt. Now let's go to two cup. I have to get right in your way, I know. There. Let's do a, no, I really want the one cup. One cup, because I have it programmed right. All right. Yeah, milk looks pretty good. Maybe I'll get some art. Not. We're using the uh, Narrows by Bluebeard today. This is really good. I like this coffee. We have it all programmed for 30 seconds and producing two ounces. And we had the temperature set up to, I think, 203, 204, right up and through there. We did a little playing around to see what was going to taste best. Oh, look at me go. What did I get? A cloud. A very fluffy, fluffy cloud. That's all that is, really. See how it tastes. Mmm, the cloud tastes good, and so does the coffee. It's really good. Mmm. So, for you folks out there that want to get an affordable machine with a PID, the CC1 would be my choice. I'd point right to that. Built right in so it's not an add-on. It's not going to cost you any extra. It's already in there. The pros to this machine is that PID built in for the price. The cons, uh, there is... The water tank is a little bit difficult because of the, you got to have the portafilter out first off. Three-way solenoid valve, so that's a dry puck. There we go. See, when you get this out of here, the hoses, if you want to take it out to wash, it's a little bit difficult to get back in with those hoses. I didn't mention the portafilter. It's a 58 millimeter full-size portafilter. That's another pro. Comes with a single and the double basket, not to worry there. This uh, drip, tra the drip tray, you have to lift it up, then pull it out. And I found in the beginning, I wasn't used to it, and I was like, what? What's going on? There's a couple of in uh, things hanging out down here that correspond with these slots. So you have to clear that first. And then you can't just pull it straight up because you've got the three-way solenoid valve. So I would say that is a, a bit of a con, and the water tank is as well. And... It isn't going to be the prettiest machine on the block, but hey, it's stainless steel. Still got a lot going for it. That's the CC1 by Bill Cross. Uh, actually, it's Crossland CC1, and it's Bill, Bill Crossland is the inventor and the designer and the owner of this company, and you won't find a nicer guy. Bill is a really nice guy, easy to work with. We love him. So check it out on our webpage. Check out the rest of the stats. And if you have any questions, by all means, contact us. And also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching.